single 2022 is so exciting, isn't it? So last year you might have joined us in Tesco's car park because we couldn't do it in the building because of pesky <clears throat> COVID. Boo. Boo. But this year we are back in church. <laughs> now, have we got a mix of people? Like, have we got some people who've like prepped the turkey in the Brussels already? Super organised. Hands up if that's you. Yeah. And the rest of you, are you just adopting Laura's approach of opening the mulled wine and hoping for the best? So. <laughs> Yeah, basically. I, think I so, saw yeah. as people were coming in, it was really lovely seeing you all come in because there's lots of hugs and saying hello to people. But we also saw some amazing outfits. So if you've got a Christmas jumper on, do you want to like give it a twirl? Oh, we've got a couple Ooh, of Christmas jumpers. That's beautiful. Sam, Priya, very nice. <coughs> Bethany's gone, but she's not standing up. Um, have we got, I've seen someone, I mean, would you, you might not believe in a, a suit entirely with Brussels sprouts. No. Yes. Who could that Phil, be? Phil, come on. Are we still take, take your coat off. We need to see this. Woo! Woo! Give him a round of applause, people. Yeah. Come up in the light. <laughs> Do you have the full Monty theme tune ready? No, is that not, that's not today. Brilliant. So you are really welcome to church, whether you've been here before or not. So if, um, just come and find a seat. There's some seats this side and there's still seats at the front. So you're really welcome. We are here for the next 50 minutes and we are going to worship God. We're going to spend time in the Christmas spirit, the real Christmas spirit. That's the Holy Spirit, not the gin yet. No, not yet. We're going to have a laugh and we're going to have a giggle, right? And we're going to make some noise. But when, you know, when it's time to quiet, I've got, you know, a really subtle signal for you to be Go quiet. On, what is the subtle signal? <laughs> yeah, when I do that, that's it, quiet, okay? But the thing is, the most exciting thing about today... We are going to meet a VIP guest. Really? Yes. I didn't know there was a VIP coming. Yeah, he's super VIP. Not just Phil in his Brussels sprouts. No, more VIP than Phil in his Brussels sprouts. So okay. listen, shall we get on with it? Are we ready for some fun? We are ready for some fun. Are we ready, ready for some fun? Good stuff. Right. Let the Christingle begin. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh no. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let you the can do it. Begin. You can do it. Three, two, two, one. No. So if you all want to stand up, we are going to sing. Stand up. I'm yeah, that's sing it. You've got to stand time. up. Oh, my keyboard's covered in glitter. <laughs> No! 
Lucy, you're in a fine voice tonight, aren't you? Hello, hello, oh. hello. Oh, my days. Laura, what on earth are you wearing? Well, I thought as we're meeting this VIP that they are very famous and they would want to meet somebody quite famous. I thought it was Matt Hancock, to be honest. No, boo, boo. <laughs> no, listen, I think... But anyway, because I'm not very famous, I thought I'd go on I'm a Celebrity so I could become more famous. Yeah. What do I, you reckon? Can I tell you, you look fantastic, but you've definitely got the wrong idea. This what? VIP, he's super famous, but you're not, I'm not, you know, you don't get cel like celebrity vibes from him. He's not that, he's not that kind of famous. Oh, no. No. So no. does he not want to meet me just because I'm moderately famous. No, 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 you don't need to be famous to meet him. I don't need to be famous to meet the VIP. No, no, definitely oh, well. not. Oh, I do. Are you not getting that? No, not really. No. Right, listen, I think that we need to help Laura understand, okay, that she just needs to be herself, okay, because I can't cope with another evening of this, whatever this is. So, you know, can we all tell her you need to be yourself, okay? We ready? Oh, somebody did it brilliantly. Yes, right, one, nice. two, three, you're going to say you just need to be yourself. Yeah, one, two, three, you just need to be yourself, okay? Well, seems as I'm all like I'm a celebrity, then I have been practicing for Ooh, it. Practicing. So I've been eating spiders and worms and like creepy crawlies and stuff. Ew. But I've got a celebrity bush tucker trial for you guys. Are you up for it? <gasps> Oh, yeah, I'm you up for it, be. yeah. So inside the bags that you were given when you arrived, there should be one jelly bean. One jelly bean, you've got to find it. One jelly bean? One okay. jelly bean. I'm, be I'm a bit scared, Laura, I'll be honest. Oh, you? Yeah. I'm not looking forward. You should forward. be scared. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? So if you find your jelly bean, um, most of the jelly beans taste really, really delicious. But most. some of the jelly beans taste of earwax. Oh. oh. So, if you found your jelly bean, we're all going to eat them together. Are we ready, Sam? Are you ready? Have you got your jelly beans? Can we wave them? Wave your jelly beans. Have you got them? Um, right. Yeah? Are we ready? Ready, steady, eat. How did everyone get on? Mm, was yours that all right? was all right. Oh, you got a good one. You you, got a good did one? anybody get a disgusting one? Oh. No one. Oh, dear. That hey, maybe they one. all like earwax. Maybe you all secretly eat earwax. Maybe they like vomit flavoured ones. Does anyone pick their ears and have a lick? No? Okay. Anyway, listen, this VIP is coming. We're going to meet him tonight. So right, I think yes. you should just go and get changed because. Because he's a not... bit more humble. Yeah. Okay. Just go and get changed and we're going to sing another song. All right. Okay? So if you, wanna, if you can, stand. Yes. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Yes, yeah, see you in a bit, Laura. of Oriental Bearing gifts we travel so far Field and fountain more and mountain following yonder star Born again on Bethlehem's plain Gold I bring to crown him again King forever
Okay, have a seat while we prepare for our... Whoa, whoa, I'm what are you back. wearing? I'm back. Holy moly, Laura. Holy moly. I am ready to meet the VIP who you told me was a hero that saved people. So I have come as an action hero. Yeah. My, eyes, <laughs> my eyes are burning, Laura. I know. <laughs> Um, so you're a hero, I okay, am, apparently. Look, I'm a humble hero. H, H, very fantastic. I've got humbling down. The thing is, though, this, uh, this, this VIP is a hero, but he's definitely more of a humble hero. You know, he's not showy. He came and he, he had a really big sacrifice for us, and he did, did a lot for us. But yeah, he's, it's not, not that, to be not, honest. Not this. No, not that. Listen, if you're a real action hero, yeah. do you have a signature move? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm just, I don't think she's got a signature move. Do you think we could help her come up with a signature move? Yeah. Any, what, what, if you were a superhero, what would your signature move be? You don't know. Anyone else? Yeah, right. No, no, no risk assessments. Go on. Come and show us. Slides. We'll have some signature moves, and then we'll see if Laura can copy you. Yeah? Sam's got a signature move. Here we go. Come on, Sam. Please say cartwheel. Hey. Oh, yeah, you could do that, can't you? Whoa. Nice, nice. Go on then, Priya. <laughs> yeah, you can do that as well. Actually, I have been practicing. I have you? Yeah. Practicing? Yeah, I've been practicing my real action hero moves. Do you want to see it? You've never yeah. seen anything like this before. I've never seen anything like that before, to be <laughs> no, honest. So I, th I think I need a drum roll. Are you ready? <laughs> drum roll. Yay! Woo! So, <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was, I, I'm speechless. Do you speechless. think he wants to meet me now I've done my action role? <clears throat> Listen, the thing is about this humble hero, okay, you don't need to be a hero to meet him. I don't right? need to be a hero to meet the VIP. No, you just need to be yourself. Shall we help her again? Yeah? I don't need to be a hero to meet the guest. No. You just need to be yourself. Okay, right. Yeah. Now, I think you should just go and get, go and get changed, Are you Laura. Sure? Yes, you absolutely. Show this all, all absolutely. But you have inspired us because okay. I think we're going to do a superhero action song. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So, listen, if you can, stand up. Yeah. This is Chris Dingle, so anything goes. Yeah. I want to see some actions. Yeah. And if we've got any of, um, any of the kids who want to come to the front, come and have a dance.
people. Hey, we had some fantastic actions there. Um, so the next part of our service is, oh, oh, Laura. Hello. What are you doing up there? Well, you told me that this VIP was really super duper clever. He is, yeah. So I've become a scientist. Oh, okay. And I've right. been doing lots of experiments all week. Oh, tell us some of the experiments you've been doing. Well, I thought I could invent a flying machine, but I might have eaten too many mints. No, 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 no flying in church. The risk assessment said specifically no flying. So. And then I've been doing my own special experiments. Okay, go on, let's hear it. I have been eating only baked beans for a whole week. Yeah, only baked beans for yeah, a week. Only baked beans. Do you want to know what happens? <laughs> oh, that is that is disgusting, to be honest. I so, mean, so this you VIP, said that he knew loads of stuff. This superhero he, guest. Yeah, he's really having. clever. But it's more things like um, this VIP. He knows all of the stars in the whole sky. He knows how many hairs we've each got on our head. Not stuff about baked beans. I bet Although, he to be knows fair, how many baked beans I've eaten this week. I think though. he probably does know how many trillion baked beans you've eaten this week. Um, you know, the thing is, Laura, I keep, we keep telling you this. Like, he's really clever, but you don't need to be clever to meet him. I don't know? need to be clever to meet him. You don't need to be clever to meet him. You just need to be yourself. Yeah, I think it's just come down now and get changed into something proper, Laura. Okay, Not, proper. Yeah, just right, get really just, proper. I'm going to change. Put yes. something sensible on, okay? Yes. Yeah, okay. please. Um, now, next, we're going to have a video. Mary was really scared when the angel came to her. There was one main angel called Gabriel. He was just a boy angel. She had wings and she was all white. The angel said, you're going to have a special baby. And it was God's son. She was quite excited. A bit scared. And she was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have the son of God. And then she was like, I can't, I'm not married and stuff. Joseph, he was a builder. Mary told Joseph that she was having a baby called Jesus and it was God's son. And he's like, what? Then Joseph saw the angel in a dream. I think Joseph was really scared. And then they went to Bethlehem. On a donkey. It would be quite hot. She had a baby in her tummy and she would have been really heavy. <laughs> she said, Can we stop anywhere with these houses? They had to try and find somewhere for Mary to have the baby. They went around a whole neighbourhood. No, Everyone said no in an angry voice because it was the middle of the night. No. The last innkeeper, he said, yeah, there's a barn type thing around the back. They had to go to a barn and have their baby. It had sheep. It was like all hay and animal poop and sheep and things. Mary put baby Jesus in one of those troughs. They call the baby Jesus and they loved him. And he has two daddies, God and Jesus. They both needed to look after the baby. The angel told the shepherds to follow the star. There was three kings. They followed the star all the way to where Jesus was born. When they get to the stable, they give them Jesus the presents. and then they got some angels as visitors too, and then there was a giant star. 
everyone was there. Then there was a party. glow stick party tonight yeah now listen at the four o'clock we tried to tell people don't snap your glow sticks but no one we just got ignored so we're just gonna say just go for it you know it's time for us to make our Chris Dingle that's what we're here for isn't it so if you want to get your bags out yeah now I've got Sam and Bethany and Priya who are going to help us to understand what all the different bits of the Chris Dingle mean so if you guys want to head up here yeah <coughs> okay. So, if you can all find your orange from the bag, and Sam is going to help us understand what's significant about the orange. Okay. The orange is the world we live in. We thank God for the beautiful world and animals. We pray we will look after the world and animals. Amen. Amen, yeah. Now, can I just say, you have got candles in your bag, but they're for later, because they're probably going to catch fire on one of Laura's outfits. So, just glow sticks in here, candles for later, okay? Now, can you see there's a red ribbon around your orange? Yeah, Bethany's going to help us to understand what that means. The ribbon shows us God's love. It shows us when Jesus died on the cross. He did it because he really, really loves us. We pray for all those people who are lonely or sad this Christmas time, that they will know that they are loved. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And now in your bag, you've also got some sticks. Here we go. So you're going to stick your sticks all the way around. Yeah. And you're gonna, you've got some sweets. And on your sticks, you're going to stick some sweets in a moment. But Priya, do you want to tell us what the sweets mean? Sweets are all the good things in our life. Um, we thank God for our families and our best friends and our normal friends and toys and fun and Christmas films. Amen. Okay. So we're going to have a few minutes, get a chance to sort of make your glow sticks. Try and not eat the sweets or else you won't have a, a fully functioning Chris Dingle. Yeah, we've we got some music. Yeah. If you've finished your Chris Dingle, you can just maybe say your own private prayers um, about what the, the kids have told us about, about the world that we live in and God's love and just say thank you for all the good things that we've got.
goodness me. I've got a proper outfit on now, ready a proper, to meet this you very call that a proper king. Outfit. Yes, look at me. Do you know, we've been making Chris Dingles while you've been gone, Laura. Have you? But I have come dressed to meet royalty. Yeah. I've come as a princess. Wowzers. I mean, I, I'm getting them Beauty and the Beast vibes. If you're the beauty, then what does that make, Chris? I don't, I don't yeah? know. Yeah? <laughs> oh. So, I can't um, see his face, so I don't know how cross he I've is. I've been practicing. Me, right. Oh, more practicing. Yeah, I think I'm practicing. even more scared this time. I've been Go practicing on. my royal curtsies and bows. Are you ready? I give you, ladies and gentlemen, Princess, most marvelous, most wonderful, Laura. Oh, listen, that that is really beautiful, but you are really quite overdressed for Christmas Eve, Laura. I'm sorry to tell you. It's a good job there's no candles, isn't yeah, it? It is a good job there's no candles. <laughs> But, um, so, do you think I'm ready to meet the guest, the royal, the king of kings? Look, look, I'm getting a bit cheesed off, keep telling you this, Laura, okay? So, our guest, our VIP guest, he's royal, he's a king, but you don't need to be royal to meet him. I don't need to be royal to meet Can him. Can we help her again? We got... Okay, you just need to be yourself, yeah? All right. You don't need to be an action hero, okay, or a scientist, or a celebrity, or royal to meet him. You just need to be yourself. So, I think you should just... Just get rid of all this silly stuff, Laura. So what happens if I'm just, like, not very important or not very clever? Or, like, what happens if I've done lots of stuff wrong? Or what happens if I've, like, completely ignored him for years and years and years? What happens then? The thing is that this VIP, this baby Jesus, okay, he, he came at Christmas to be with us, and he doesn't care what you've done wrong. He just wants to come and meet you tonight. Jesus just wants to come and meet all of us tonight. Okay. So he will just meet me just as I am. Exactly. So I can leave all as of this are. stuff behind. Yeah. And we've got a poem about this. We can have that. The nativity story starts way before Christmas. It begins with the story of the God who made us. He made creatures who crawled and creatures with wings, but the people were his absolute favourite things. He longed to be friends, so he made a way to come as a person on Christmas Day. And there were angels and donkeys and wise kings and gold, but the most lowly shepherds were the first ones God told. But back then people didn't want shepherds as friends. They were scruffy and smelly and they didn't follow trends. But this is important because it gives us a clue. It shows how God feels about me and about you. You see, Jesus, he doesn't care if we're shepherds or kings. We can just be ourselves. We're his favorite things. So just as you are, Laura, we're his favourite things. Okay. So we're going to sing our next hymn in a moment. And as our glow sticks are, you know, waving in the air, okay, we just need to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. Okay. And just in your own private prayers, as we're, as we're worshipping, just ask Jesus to come and be with you tonight. Okay. Yeah. Please stand if you can.
feel quite, I do feel quite Christmassy now, yes. So sometimes when you meet God, sometimes you feel a bit tingly or a bit funny, and that's fine. And other times when you meet God, you feel really peaceful and really calm. And so this Christmas, I pray that you meet God through all the turkey and the Brussels sprouts and the TV shows your grandma wants to watch that you don't want to. Apparently Antiques Roadshow is brilliant. But whatever you're doing, I pray that you find the space to meet with God because God loves you hugely. And the promise of Christmas is that God came to earth so that you would never, ever be left alone, that you would always be loved, that God will always be present and that he'll always hear your prayers. And so this Christmas, I pray that you get that real gift of Christmas spirit. But... Church is for life, not just Chris Dingle, oh, isn't it, Laura? Cheesy. Yeah, I might have made that one up myself, actually. We've got so much stuff going on at St. John's, and here's a little flyer that you can collect at the end. You know, our 11 o'clock service, if you enjoyed this, you should definitely enjoy the 11 o'clock service. Yep. We've got Forest Church, where we just go and get out outside. We've got tons of stuff for our young people. We've got an Alpha course coming up in, um, in the new year. So if you're just a little bit interested or curious, there's free food. So, you know, cakes and brews. So come along to that. That's great. But I feel a bit like a party now. Are you ready? Yeah. Have you got your glow sticks ready? Yeah. Got your mobile phone lights on? Let's dance and celebrate Jesus coming at Christmas. Yeah. Whoa, let's go for it.
That was brilliant. So we're just going to ask you to have a seat before we finish off our service. There's a couple of things just to say. So first of all, if you would like to donate um, all the money collected at this service goes to the Children's Society. So there's some donation points at the back. If you are a cashless person like I am, then um, please do donate to them online. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Have we got? You've not got any more surprises for well, us, have you, Laura? There's one more surprise, but oh, I no. just need to say that when we leave the building, we need to do it safely. Like, believe it or not, there is a risk assessment for orderly police, and it also includes going out in orderly fashion. So if we can go from the back forward, is that all right? Listen, what's this surprise? I can't hold the it in anymore. The there's no more outfits, aren't you pleased? <laughs> <laughs> Chris is really relieved. So, but underneath your seats, there should be a bag, and inside the bag, there is a kazoo. So if you want to pass them along your row, they look like <laughs> this. And what we're going <clears> to <throat> ask you to do is you're going to play it. So you play with the fat bit, you toot into it, and we're going to give you a little bit of time to practice and then we're <clears throat> all going to stop together. You're allowed to make as much noise as you want now, okay? <laughs> you have to do the fat bit and you have to toot into it. Toot, 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 toot. <clears throat> Don't blow them, you kind of sing at them. Yeah, we'll do it afterwards. Okay. Are we ready? Right, you've got 10 more seconds to practice. 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop kazooing. Stop. Stop. Well, that went well. Right, everybody it? stand up. I'm going to count us in. And then, Pete, are you playing? And um, that is the end of our Chris Dingle service. Remember, if you want to come back to church in January or tomorrow morning, we're back at 10. You are really, really welcome. Um, in the meantime, have a great Christmas and may God bless us all. May God make his face shine upon you, your families, those you love in this country and those who are abroad. And I pray that you have an amazing Christmas. Amen. Amen.